double fisted. My, my strawberry cream soda. And, and free coffee number 372. What's the inspirational quote today? I love the nostalgic myself. I hope we never lose some of the things of the past. It's a weird walk quote. It's not like like as pretty as his other ones. Yeah. It is Saturday. Thank you. And it is beautiful out. I mean, it's raining. Like my feet are soaked, but it's beautiful. It's cool out. It's like yeah, it's probably like 70, but I just my equilibrium is like I don't understand it from living here. It feels like it's low 60s to me right now, but I know it's probably like 71 or yeah, 72. It just feels good. No it's humidity. Not about the sun. No humidity, no sun, and a nice breeze. But we have six places to eat at Food and Wine Left, and we're gonna do three today, I think. And then we're gonna come back here on Monday for the very last day and then meet up with the Curries. The Curries. <laughs> so they're here on vacation. We can't wait to actually meet them in person, but that'll be Monday. Yeah. Jordan has um, one, she's been a, a subscriber for a long time, but she also has her own Disney Instagram and blog. Sarah will put something over here, or I yeah. will. Whoever edits tomorrow, we'll put it right there. Yeah. Um, and Peter, it's you always do the wrong one. Like, do you do it on purpose? <laughs> no. Okay. It looks like that's the right one to me. It does, but because you're flipped, it's not. So every single time. That one. Whether it's up there or in the description below, we'll we'll put our information out there. We're so excited to meet them, though. Yeah. Long time coming. All right. So we got this. What like? Five days ago, six days ago? While I was gone, you got it. While you were gone, I got it at Hollywood Studios. But this is the fuel rod, 30 bucks. You can get it cheaper online. But it's literally been like a game changer for us. Yeah. Literally, just hit swap. It says insert it. It inserts. Oh, I thought I heard it. Another one pops out. New one. And then it has this little tiny cord. It has it for all of the different types of phones, too. So that's the end of the line, or the beginning of the line. All the way over here, to this little stand over here, is the, is the entire line for the Mexico station. Um, apparently, it's been a few years since we were here at the, the closing weekend of Food & Wine, but but this is what the, the last Saturday of Food & Wine looks like. Look at the Thailand, the line's all the way down there. For America, there's all of this line on the left. And then all of that line on the right, which is nice it's broken up, but it just shows you how busy it is. And we're gonna eat right here by this beautiful fountain with the ducks. How is it? It's our favorite. This is our, what do you think, our number one? Number one, Epcot Food and Wine Festival 2017. Beef brisket from Hops and Barley. Food and wine, food and wine. Everybody, Everybody loves. Really loves food Everybody here. clearly loves food and wine. Look at that! It looks like it goes on for. It's literally packed from here to the end of Canada. To the end of Canada. Now, contrary to what most people would say, if they, when they just saw that shot of everybody going out for blocks and blocks and us waiting 15 minutes for our beef brisket and everybody waiting in lines, I'm happy to see it like this. The reason why it's 75 days long and growing more and more every year is because of days like today. It's just the last weekend. I've seen so many of the lanyards that cost $250 to get. You buy a gift card for $250 and get a lanyard. I see so many of the special like eight ticket vouchers. Like this is what causes like you can't have the good without the bad. So yeah, you got busy days like today, but then you got slow days on a Tuesday night when you're here on vacation. I think it's a good thing. Because yeah. who knows if it, if it would be three, two and a half months long yeah. without days like today. All right, so we found out the Scotland, Scotland, the Scotland line was like five minutes. So. And when you get your food, you get beaded by your parents. She's lying right now. But, but we're gonna get Scotland. What are we getting the dessert? The tipsy lard. Which is Layer. whiskey soaked cake with lemon cream. We found that garbage can. We found the garbage can. We found the garbage. We found the garbage can. And that is what the tipsy lard looks like. Want this raspberry? No, you can have it all. Uh oh. I don't know. <laughs> So far, so good. Okay, try the lemon. The lemon cream. Now this is an alcoholic, right? No, it is. It is. 
But they make it out. The cake, it, no. Oh, it's just soaked. Yeah, the cake is soaked in whiskey. But it's a small content, like anybody can have it. Try some yourself. This is the shortest line we found all day. We're in New Zealand, look at this. Registers, line, registers, We're gonna get the us. lamb meatball. The lamb meatball. The seared venison loin sounds really good. Not the muscles. Not in the muscle mood. Alright, we went with the lamb meatball from New Zealand. It looks super tasty. The muscles look really good, but this was what, $5.50? It was like $5.50. Something like that, right? Yeah. Take it. Good portion. And yeah. Like a filler for it almost looks like an onion ring around Yeah. It. So our plans have actually changed for the day. I'm gonna grab a new fuel rod. And then we're gonna take a bus to the Contemporary and meet two of our friends and hang out around the monorail line tonight. Hey, this is about to be messy. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Mmm. Good? Yeah. Can you see the deliciousness? Mmm. <laughs> Good, right? Yeah, what is that breading? Alright, here comes Sarah in with the New Zealand sticker. And how many does that leave now? Four. Four. Coastal Eats. Wine Studio. And Joffrey's. You would think you would have done Joffrey's. I'm proud of how, how well this kept up. we haven't lost this? Haven't lost it and it hasn't been like soaked in water and destroyed oh my lord look at that we got the um what do we get shrimp scampi dip shrimp scampi dip. dip it reeks of garlic and heaven it was 550 and with this we'll only have three more things left and, and only one more food and one more food two more drinks one more food okay. all right we got to get in on this because this looks delicious all right i'm just gonna kind of dive into this i think Really good? Wow. If you could see my pupils right now, they'd be super wide. That's got so much good flavor. I'm more inclined to love something that's covered in butter and garlic. But that is, if you like spinach art, like spinach art, art, spinach dip. Oh my god, wait until Sarah tries this. You gotta see it. She's gonna love it. She didn't even start chewing it, she already loves it. That's <laughs> disgusting. So you're gonna have some Beverly with me? I don't know. Here's my Beverly. It was out last time, so I haven't had it in a while. I'm gonna do three. three. It looks like it's like not as carbonated, but it's good. It still tastes perfect. For my birthday, I want somebody from, from Italy, right? Yeah. If you live in Italy and you watch our vlogs, one, that's super cool. But I don't think anybody does because YouTube tells us what countries. If you know somebody who lives in Italy, get me a case of Beverly. That would be the most magical birthday gift ever. Whoa. <laughs> that's my gorgeous hot dance. Okay, so we're doing the monorail. Crawl. Bar crawl. City Center, City Center, Magic Kingdom for life. Love it all. Love you all. Wow, starting at the Contemporary. Peter, Peter. Peter. Real quick. This was built as a giant skeleton. Each room was a box that they literally slid into place, fully furnished. That's what the noise was every time one went in. It was like. <laughs> that was the noise. Peter says. For me. all guests, sweet guests. Look at that. What? That car is literally just... That's just for the Cinderella cast. Is that suit. for them? Is I that for those so. children? Are you joking wow. me? Wait, that was insane. That family is going to be spending the night in the Cinderella suite. Also, Peter said that we're just going to meet up with friends. We're meeting with Chelsea and Kristen. Yeah, we're meeting Chelsea and Kristen. They have not seen a lick of Christmas opposite of Sarah and myself, who've seen like everything Christmas here. So they wanted to stop at all of the, we're not actually doing, I don't even know if we're doing a formal monorail crawl. I think we're just stopping at each resort to see oh. the Christmas direction. Christmas decorations are up and then we're gonna go see the castle lighting at Magic Kingdom, which is awesome because we didn't see that. We missed that at the party last night. 
Look at that, Cinderella's back. I think it wasn't this Elsa before? Yeah, we can do a Christmas drink crawl. Yes, so we're, we're doing a Christmas drink crawl. I don't think we're leaving here soon, so these are count for mine and Sarah's too. What do we get, chai? Mm -hmm. That's Christmassy, it tastes Christmassy. Hot chocolate chai? No, just chai. You, you got hot chocolate. hot chocolate. So she's normal. She is not. That. Chai's good. But it's not Christmassy. It's no, she, she gets you as you went like this, it tastes Christmassy, and I taste like a so look at this gingerbread house. It's beautiful. And this whole team right here did it. Good job, everybody. Woo! Over seven days to assemble by more than 20 contemporary bakery cast members. 212 pounds of sugar syrup. There's 17 hidden Mickeys. There's 17 hidden Mickeys? 13. Literally. 15, the 20 15. cast members, they must have just finished assembling this because the cast members from the bakery here are all signing that tree. Wow, look at, they're, they're signing it in black light. They're like invisible ink. So we're at the Polynesian, and for some reason, there is not a lick of Christmas here except for these two girls' shirts. I don't stop believing. So, and Santa. But there's no holiday decorations, there's no holiday drinks, no holiday snacks. It's lit it's not open yet, but they have it the lights on. Look at how gorgeous this is. And it doesn't quite smell like it yet, but there it is. I'm 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 about to do a public service announcement. I apologize for any level of obnoxious behavior between now and when we leave the Magic Kingdom. Chelsea and Kristen has not seen any Christmas stuff. I repeat, they have not seen any Christmas stuff in the Magic Kingdom. And they like Christmas just as much. And they like Christmas just as much as us, which means it's on an obnoxious level. Right, Chelsea? <laughs> see? <laughs> we didn't even see this yesterday. Look at Welcome to Candy Cane Garden. And there's a countdown days till Christmas know, and a cool photo that's spot. Why I wanted to come. 44 magical days until Christmas. Woo! I can't believe we're really here. Everything looks so gorgeous. Oh, look at all the people. Oh, so cute. And then, uh, that's because you're way up there. This is like, this is like gold right here. Like right now, if I just bought all these, what would you all do? That was the first time I've seen those since we moved here over 100 days ago. First time I've seen those rose gold. And you, you guys see how often we go to big retail stores like Emporium, Mouse Gears, World of Disney. Um, we don't usually go to the stores at studios or Animal Kingdom. But that's the first time I've seen those in real life available at a store. Oh my lord, look at this tree. There's like a whole Christmas tree thing here. I've only seen it on social media, but we might not have time to do it tonight. We don't, we actually have to keep walking. We have to keep walking. We're trying to go to a 745 show and it's like 710. We're trying to go get a little sandwich before the show. But yeah, I just realized, like I was thinking, I was like, I thought they had all the Christmas stuff up. But like, that's beautiful. I was like, beautiful. And oh, then like, Sarah's saying that there's, oh, there's Old Main Street right here. Look at this, it's so gorgeous. So a little update. If you can't tell, we're not at Earl's Sandwich. And the movie starts in 20 minutes. Earl's Sandwich is lying with like, the longest the we've longest ever seen it. Ever seen it. it was zigzagged 
through the front going back towards the back door. You entered it. You had to enter through the back door to get in the line. It probably would have been 20 minutes for us to place our order, let alone another probably 10 minutes to get our food. But like, Wolf King Kong Express is out the door too. I think it's just busy. It's just busy tonight. I mean, it is Saturday. So, and it's cool out, so it's, people are, and a lot of Christmas stuff, the, the Christmas tree lane, which we've never seen before, is over by Earl Sandwich. So that's open, so like, I think there might be just like a lot of people enjoying the nice weather, enjoying the weekend, and it's the first real weekend of the Christmas decorations here, so. We've got a lot of exciting things, but we can come back for Earl, we can come back for the Christmas trees. I think we're just gonna get something to We might just get nachos or popcorn or something at the movie theaters, but we are hungry. I want fried chicken. I want fried chicken too. Alright, so we made it with our movie pass. Going to see the Florida Project. Sarah's been jonesing to see this for weeks. Yeah, I'm so excited. We got some popcorn. We got some chicken tenders. It's about where we live. Yeah. So it's like we live we live like five miles away from where it was filmed. And so I was at playing in Chicago. Well it was playing here, just was playing like yeah. 10 minutes away, or like 30, 30 or 40 minutes away, but now it plays closer. <laughs> Look at that do. Well, we saw the Florida Project. We saw it. That's all I have to say about that. Mm -hmm. It's a little disappointing. Not what I expected. It got great reviews. It was a good movie. I just hated the last... 60 seconds of it. Yeah. And it was a sad movie. Yeah, but... Kind of like an underdog story, but with no happy ending. <laughs> or no it, ending at all. No ending in a weird last 60 seconds. But, it is real late. We went to the grocery store. Sarah did some design work. Played with the dog. And now we have to go to bed because in like six hours... Road trip! We're taking a mini road trip to the ocean. Yeah. Cape Canaveral. Kennedy Space Center. I've wanted to go there my whole life, so I cannot wait to go. Yeah, I'm excited. And with that... It's good to be home. We had a crazy day. I know, so many places. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.